Hey there, Reapings, everybody. Welcome back to Serious Curious Adventures in Seth Tech Ages. Been a few days. Sorry about that. But, you know, just busy with stuff. I did work on the, um, on the base a little bit, though. So we're going to check this out in a bit. What I want to do today, or one of the things I want to do today, is replace this little setup. Now, you can see I still haven't really done anything in this base at all, unfortunately. So something we still need to do. But I think this will improve quite a bit once we get to the next age. Because then we get all this technical stuff. And this might not even stay here, you know. Like, we might, like, migrate this into the new base once once we are done over there. Which is still going to take a while. But for now, we want to have this here. And may as well try to make this look somewhat decent. Uh, this is currently still grinding up some grout. I made a bunch so we can make seared bricks. So we can actually build a proper smeltery there. So, I have my gems here. I think the blue one is for the smeltery controller. Right? Yeah. And I'm also just going to make the other two, so there is the one with the green gem. No? Isn't there like... Oh, there's a bucket below this one. And this one has a furnace. Aha! So there's a Tinker tank. Pretty cool thing, it's like a giant tank that can hold different types of fluids without mixing uh, them together. So like if you don't want like... Like you can have tin and copper fluid in there at the same time. If you would just have them in a smeltery, it would make bronze. So you can kind of keep them separate like this. And then also the seared furnace control. I'm just making these. I'm probably not using those two uh, anytime soon. Maybe. I'm not sure. The tinker tank might be kind of cool to store a ton of like star liquid. Uh, liquid starlight. Although we could use the immersive engineering uh, tanks later to do that as well. So they don't quite go with the astro sorcery stuff. But I think it might still work. We shall see. We'll, we'll figure it out. And then we also want a... What is that? Is it like this? Yeah. The drain. Now, I think I'm actually going to make two drain. Let's make a decent sized smeltery. The problem is usually you can use stone inside the smeltery to make seared brick. You can't do that in this pack. So you have to use the grout. However, we can directly smelt the grout in there. But I think it's better to just use like my bunch of kilns I have set up here for that. So, uh, And then we want, well, a ton of blocks for sure. We also need faucets. I'm going to make four. Uh, yeah, sure, that works. So we have two of these drains. We can, if you put them in the corner, we can use like two drains, uh, two faucets on each drain if we wanted to. And then we have the controller. We have also a, is it like this? Oh, no, no, no right. We need a clay barrel for the, for the tank. Although, wait, we have a tank. We don't need to make a tank. But I would like to make some glass, some seared, was it a window? Yeah, I never know what the difference is between a gauge and the window. I think it just looks different, right? Like, can the gauge also contain, retains liquid? Oh, it does. The glass too, or the, the window. But the seared glass can't, okay. Maybe I want the seared glass then. Oh, I feel like an idiot. We already had a controller at one point. Oh man, <laughs> I totally forgot that we made this before. That's okay though, because we can set up multiple tanks too if you want to. Oh, it's not really somewhere. That's fine. Okay, you know what? I don't have I don't have any glass right now, <laughs> so I'm just gonna skip this for now. Would this accept the silk glass too? Yeah, it does. Okay. I don't know if I have some silk. I think I do somewhere. I just can't find it right now. It must. It might be over at the uh, the base. I have a bunch of chests there. Apparently, Mora is making chicken tenders. Maybe. Okay, so what else do we need? We have a bunch of bricks. We need more bricks than that, though. We want this to be a little bit bigger and. Am I forgetting anything? Yes, we need... Let's make more basins. Let's make... Let's see, one of those. How many do we have of this type? Do we even have any? Because these... I don't want, like, this color. I want the seared brick version, right? And I don't think we do have any of those. Okay. So let's make two of them. And two tables, I think. Alright, let's do it like this. Now, this is still working on stuff. Nope, that's empty. This one is still working on stuff. Okay. So we could technically tear this down if we wanted to. And I probably will do this, but maybe we just put this over here for now. So let me dig this out a bit. Alright, so we have a bit more room now. Although, again, I kind of want to tear this out so we can move this a bit further to the front. At least this one we can get rid of. Nah, I'm going to tear it down. <laughs> I don't want it here. Alright, uh, do I want to put this down into the floor? Nah, I think we'll leave it on top here. So I think we have it like this. Let's do this 3 by 3 uh, yeah, that should work. And then on here we start with the controller. 
Now, I don't think... You used to have to have the tank and the controller on the same level. I feel like they changed that in this version. I'm not 100% sure. We'll give it a shot. And break this. Are you working? You're not. Okay, so I think it actually still has to be on the same level. So let's put this right here for now. And that works, okay. Hmm. Maybe it was just that the that these two don't have to be on a lower level anymore or something. There was something about the change to the height of those. And I'm gonna place... Ah, let's just go get them. I'm gonna place Storm Brick here just to make this look somewhat better. There we go. It's a little bit better, I guess. It sort of goes with the other brick, you know. It's great, but it's the same kind of shape to it. Except for here and those corners. Uh, maybe we'll just leave the corners out everywhere. Well, you can't really see behind here, right? Well, let's just do it. <laughs> it do again, it really doesn't matter at this point. We'll we'll build something. We'll build something better eventually once we have more bricks and a proper room for this. But for now, this is good enough. And there we go. So that should be good. Like I said, I'm still making stuff here, and this is done, right? Let's turn this off. So noisy. Still making stuff, so we can just increase this if we want. Put it to the very top. And we can also tear this one down now. Alright, there we go. And we don't even have to use this stuff anymore. So I'm going to tear this out too. Because I think we can do something else now to automatically fill our liquids into the basins. Did I get the stuff there? Nope. Give me that. It's expensive stuff. Okay, there's our little thing. And then we have... Let's see. Maybe over here we do the uh, the blocks. And then over here we have any like casting stuff. So yeah, we can, you know, attach one there, attach one here, so cool. So let's do this, there we go. We can share these spots, which is nice. Does this look fine? Almost maybe you should have moved them there and used the tank here. Or maybe this would look better. Yeah, you know what? I know I keep saying it doesn't matter, then I keep changing it, but it kind of matters a little bit, right? Just a tiny bit. So we put this here, and we definitely have to light this up over in this corner. So dark. I guess one little drop there helps. Uh, because then we can replace these middle ones later with glass, so we can actually see inside what, what kind of liquid we have there. And we can still access our, like, liquids from these sides. And we could even block off the behind here, right? If we wanted to. So it's actually set into the wall. We don't even need this room to be that big then. We can just have these here. And we make this smeltery one higher later, you know. Since we still have three, we can just put them on top like this. And then it's kind of like set in with, the, uh, in with the wall. Do we have torches? Nope. I guess we use those for now. And get rid of this one. Okay. So that's cool. There's our smeltery now. And so, you know, actually those forces I'm going to replace soon. Or at least one of them. Yeah, one of them I'll be replacing. Because instead of using our little gear stuff here to pour liquids out, we can actually use fluid hoppers. Right? At least we should be liquid hoppers. So that's just more glass, and I really hope that I can use the silk glass again, because making glass is super annoying. Yes, you can. And then just a copper. And a copper is chest, bronze, gears, and iron plates. So let's make a couple. Oh, there's a ton of glass in this chest. Never mind. Cool, I must have made that at one point. We can also now make a gear cast, so we don't always have to make like different gears in a weird way. So if you just take this one, put this in here, get some gold. Uh, do I have some gold in here? Uh, we only need one for now. Wait, is this all the gold we have? I think it is. I think I may have to go get gold again. But if we melt this down... Oh, and by the way, Pete. Pete is on a vacation. I, I, I don't know where he went. He just eagerly wanted to go somewhere. Yep, that's, that's what happened. He's on a trip. I'm sure he'll be back one day. Okay, there's our gold. Put this on here. It does need to. Whoops. There we go. Second ingot. And now we have a gear car, uh, car so we can uh, just melt down the Bronx directly. And no. Oh, yes. I just had to take it out one more time and I put it back in. Okay. Not sure why, but that fixed it. And it is four ingots per gear, so yeah. Skips the whole wooden gear, stone gear step. All right, so we should be able to make hoppers now, the vanilla kind, unfortunately. Make two and then upgrade them to the liquid one. Awesome. And I also want one more lever. Do you say lever or lever? Oops, I always do this wrong. Still not sure which one. I think I always alternate between lever and lever for some reason. Like I kind of use both, but eh, whatever. <laughs> Either works, I guess. You know what I'm talking about. 
And so these are kind of directional. Now, I forgot how to place them. I think you have to be like this. Let's see, can I do this? Yes. So like, depending on where I stand, it faces towards me, kind of like a piston sort of, right? And then depending on which side you click on, I think that's how you place it, like in, into which direction it should go into. So if I do something like this, it goes into the wall. But because I point it downwards, it points it into the basin. So that's how you can do this. And I believe they are powered with a lever. Now, I'm not sure if the lever turns it on or off by default. Can we see this here? Hopper status mode. Empty out tank, or you can leave stuff in there if you wanted to. Redstone. Uh, we want this on a high signal active, okay? And that should be good. So now, let's just give this a shot with... I still have some iron clusters here. Actually, I'll take these, because they make, uh, you know, a couple of blocks, which is nice. So let's have this melt down. And I guess while that is melting, we're going to replace this here quickly. So we want, oh, can I do this? Yeah, I guess if I remove the basin, I can do it. Well, not quite. <laughs> I need to like get out of here again. Gonna have a crate here. Yeah, I need to kind of like get out of the corner here. Just point this into this one. That should be good. Let's put our basin back. Boink. The blue, maybe not the best color, but you know, it works for now. And there we go. So this should have the iron in there. Yeah, three blocks and we can put the rest in here as well. And you can see it's not currently doing stuff. So if I flip this lever, whoops, it fills this up. And then it automatically, once it's hardened up, it puts it into this crate. And we can have the same kind of thing below here. And I guess I need more hoppers, but you know. So we always end up with everything we make in here automatically. So I don't have to take it out first. And there we go. Puts it in here and it keeps casting. Very cool. And again, we can just turn it off if we want to. And it's good because you can see the Y line in the bottom right corner. It says on. So that means when this lever is on, this is on, right? So we can kind of remember if it's active or not. And on this side as well. Cool. So we have that too. I just took the hopper from here again because I don't have enough samurai to make another one. But yeah, so like in this case, you know, if you want to make a bunch of nuggets or if you want to make a bunch of ingots or something, we can just keep that running as well. Cool. I like it. Uh, I guess I'll leave this on. So there's our little smeltery for now. And then we have all this stuff in here still. Look at these blocks of irons. Love it. Oh, there's some gold. So we still have some. All right, let's take a look at some of the things I've done in the meantime. Gonna sleep first. It is raining. Should be gone now, which is nice. It looks like there was a lightning strike up here. One of the planks is missing. And I think this tree here was kind of like burnt down halfway. So... A little bit dangerous. Uh, I don't know if this tree got damaged. It doesn't look like it, but I didn't check on top. And I also need to remove this still. It looks so ugly up there. But uh, so mm. I, you know, we were talking about the pathway to the other side. So I built this over here. I actually don't like it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I'm going to replace this again and do it differently. For once, this is too much just weed wood piled on top of each other. I try to keep it look natural and stuff, but and have some some sort of platform up here but it just i don't think it looks good like I, I think maybe use a different type of wood or i don't know yet maybe use some stone there instead of wood you know or maybe we should stick with the jungle wood here this is this is actually a problem oh, you can see the base from here this is a little bit of a problem i'm encountering now that we kind of deal with the vanilla wood and stone brick versus the betweenlands wood and stone bricks and kind of trying to integrate both together you know, like, I don't know where I need to draw the line of, like, when does one or the other start. Same with, like, the tower over there is all the, you know, stone brick stuff, and not the between stone stuff. So I don't know if I should replace all my stuff here with between lens blocks or if we just need some sort of transition somewhere. But anyway, so there's a tunnel out here now. i got to put these guys down here. I started out with uh, blood magic blood stuff here, but it looks weird, so... Figured, oh yeah, we have these guys. Might as well put these down here for light, right? Kind of looks cool. Uh, here, maybe we'll expose more of the the roots a little bit too, all over the place. We can just put them wherever we want, right? It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to make sense, but it's not great. I kind of like this arch, the way it looks, but because this is such a like weirdly curved pass, it looks really weird in between. I wasn't quite sure how to do these, so... I may completely tear this thing down and do it again. <laughs> I don't know yet. But it's there, just in case you know. Haven't done anything here. However, I was looking into something. I want to figure out how to make these, like, blue crystals, right? Blue rock crystals. 
And I started doing this here. Now we have a bunch of crystals still. So let's take this one for example, 245 and 76 purity. I'm gonna try to remember this. And the way I did this here is by dumping liquid starlight, or oh, sorry, dumping a rock crystal and stardust into liquid starlight. And you can see it makes like this blue, these blue particles now. And then eventually turns into these rock, these celestial crystal clusters. And they start out small and they grow over time. So this one is finally grown. You can see the white particles all glowing stuff. I think it's because I had this junk loader here. It just grew quickly over the, overnight. And I want to see now if this actually gives me the stuff I want. It does indeed. Oh, wait, did you get two starters back? Oh, nice. Is it always two starters? Yeah, look, this is the tiny one. So you don't want to mind this one, right? Huh, interesting, because that's a good way. I mean, there's no downside in turning these guys into these guys, right? Uh, so you're kind of just paying liquid starlight to get an extra stardust out of it, plus a good crystal. Hmm, something to consider. But yeah, the good thing about these guys is, right, that we can uh, increase the size of these. And from what I heard, again, I don't know yet. I'm trying to read the book, but sometimes the book doesn't always explain it directly, is that once you grow this to max size and you keep growing it, they can split. Uh, into like a second crystal so it, like there's a chance that you get two crystals out of it and I think it's a one in six chance from what I read and it sounds like that every time they split they have a chance to increase the purity and that's how you increase the purity of crystals so I want to try this out with these guys and I also want to see how much purity this one has this had 76 when we started I want to see if it just like starts out with 76 or if it's random too or something and I went mining for more rock crystals so um Yeah, I I found some. This is all from one Wayne and those. <laughs> so quite a bit. It's pretty good. Oh, there's some glass. Not the glass I wanted though, but there's some glass. But enough of that. Let's go over to our new base area. All right, so down here, I did get rid of some trees just so it's a little bit easier to walk over here. This tree's still in the way, but I kind of like this one. Now, it's still not done, unfortunately. Sorry, I'm slow. I'm a really slow builder, but... I made progress, also Morad gave me a lot of <laughs> industrial hemp fiber because apparently later you can turn these into rope and stuff and that would be really useful for our elevator if we want to make it, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, this is the this is what I've made so far, so I started the top side of here, kinda. So I have these like pillars, I'm not sure about these pillars yet, I kind of like the eye though, so maybe I'll keep them. Although I might shift these two over by one block, you know, have them align a bit better and then just have an extra like pillar like this here as well. But yeah, we have these like two little ponds on each side and then it goes into the main building, which currently only has the, uh, you know, shape of it where it's going to be. So like this side size is the main building. This is the end over here and then this way uh, and then uh, from the outside, I'm using like stairs here. I'm still not sure how I want to decorate this. We'll see. But yeah, this is going to be like a little house on top, you know, of the temple. And then later on, this is where we go down into the base. And also on the side here on these, th uh, on this line and over there as well, we're going to have stairs going down to this level here. And then that, that also connects to these stairs again. And I started work here as well. Just put down more stairs. I'm still not sure if I want to keep these stairs here or not. The good thing is actually that parts of this temple is covered in hills. Like this side, I don't need to build. <laughs> you know, because it's covered. And then it goes up to here. So all of this I need to build. And then down here a little bit. But I don't need to build like the, you know, the wall on this side. Because it's all covered. Again. And then it goes, can I make it? Ooh, nice. Uh, all the way over here. And then here, this is going to be a bit of a bigger situation where we have to like create a fake hill or something right so it can stand on and i'm still want to like fill this in with water i think it's going to look kind of cool and probably have something on the side where the water comes out into the pond or something but yeah like i said it's a project that's going to take a while hopefully h3 is going to help us a bit with speeding this up but yeah i'm thinking this may have to i think we're going to go into h3 before we finish this all right since we still have some gold i want to actually make something with this I'll probably go mining a bit off camera. Today's gonna be a bit more of like a random things episode. You know, we're gonna do this and that. 
and then afterwards I think I'm gonna make an episode where I go back to the Twilight Forest so we can finish up some of the bosses to make our way over to H3. Uh, and also just, you know, because like I said, busy and stuff, uh, this would give me... Uh, this way I can like record a couple of episodes in advance. Where is my... Wheat? Did I use up all my wheat? Oh, I guess so, huh? Okay, let's go get some wheat from over here. There you go. Haven't been in this little farm in a while. And also an apple. Thank you. And we are going to make a gluttony charm string. Okay. Now this guy is, seems pretty cool. It basically lets you eat instantly. And at first I was like, I don't know if I want that. But thinking about this now, I think I do want this. Especially when you do something like blood magic or so on, it's pretty useful. And what do we have currently? Uh, vegetables kind of hurt a little bit. So let's eat these. So now if, and I think we can put this in the barber slot too, right? Uh, up here? No, can't. Oh, it goes there. Does that work? I don't know. Let's try. Yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> I just ate like three pieces or so, or two or three of these in like an instant. That's awesome. And that's also really useful for like the ball of saps and the between lands to just fill it up super quickly. So awesome. So now that we have the smell tree, I'm kind of thinking, you know, we have good tools. We have this all in one tool, which is pretty good. We have the crazy pickaxe from As uh, Astro Sorcery, which is really nice as well. Between lands tools are kind of cool, etc. But I feel like since we're kind of going into the next age yet, I'm hoping at least that Tinker's Construct tools will be a bit more useful in the next age. So what I'm hoping is that we can make some tools now from Tinker's Construct and then just, you know, use them, level them up over time and in the next age just have them ready for like replacing the parts on it and stuff, right? So let's do that. So I'm going to melt down a bit of gold here so we can make some casts. And I'm thinking about, let's see, what do we want? Let's start with the pickaxe, right? So do we ever make a pickaxe hat? We did not. So let's make a pickaxe hat. So that's going to be for the pick. We want a shovel. So we need the shovel hat. Although no, actually, no, no, no. Wait, yes, we do want the shovel hat, but I think I'm going to make a Maddox. I do like Maddox. We can't make the Karma, can we? Oh, can we? I don't think I've seen the... Yeah, the... Oh, wait, we can make a Karma. No, we can't. Unf well, it says unfamiliar. It says it's unfamiliar, but we don't need to hold this in our hands. We can just put this in here, craft it. Let's do that. I'll, I'll check it out. Maybe it works. But let's also get the shovel hat and the hatchet. And do we want a weapon? I kind of like the sword, though. What kind of weapon would we want, though? We have, what, three, four different types? Size is also a weapon, right? So bronze is the new normal one, right? Sweep attack. Then we have the long sword. It is often used for charging into battle. Oh yeah, this one lets you lunge. Which I think is a good combo with like the, the jumping boots. And then we have the rapier which ignores armor, right? Or oh, back paddle. Oh no, this jumps you backwards. I think it also ignores armor or something though. I mean, we could make a pan, but that's kind of silly. Oh, a cleaver. Giant weapon, lots of damage, but slow. I actually never used the longsword, to be honest. I think I only ever used the rapier and the broadsword. Should we make a longsword? I mean, we could try it. So it needs the blade and a guard. This kind of guard, hand guard. Maybe we'll try it. Okay, so for the pickaxe, what do we want to use? We probably want to use bronze for the head, so we need to cast this one. So first of all, we need to make a couple of casts. Pickaxe head, shovel, axe. I think the binding we're gonna make out of slime. Can we do it like this? No, I think what we have to do is make a slime crystal, right? So for that we need slimy mud. So that's dirt and sand. Yeah, that's how you make it. So you make the slime crystal, you know, make this like crystal, uh, this green slimy mud, cook it, and then you can use it here. So we make a couple of these later. And for the tool rod, let's double check this. Now, we could get wood, which repairs them over time, and it has a durability of 25. What does bone do for us? It has a higher modifier value and more durability, which is nice. Slimy is not so good. It has zero durability here. Aquamarine is terrible. What about... We could get iron. It's not as... 
it is modifier is kind of low it would give us magnetic though so every time we mine something it pulls us towards us but we can also get a uh, rune of magnet magnet magnetism or whatever from blood magic later so i think maybe we just go with wood wait is wood better than uh, i kind of like the ecological again we can just replace these parts too so i think i'm going to go with wood on some of these tools oh i forgot to turn off this thing so i made it back into a block great Okay, making a couple of casts. And then we're gonna make gonna make our bronze pickaxe hat. We can put these on the wall if we want. Okay, and let's make it all into a tool. Our first fancy pickaxe. There we go. A bronze pickaxe. Love a clumsy. It is slimy. Does it say what this does? It will wash off. Okay, it's nothing, I guess. Uh, then it has the dense, which is your tool lasts longer when it has less durability, which is pretty cool. It already has 805 too. And then renewable resource, it regenerates the tool. Now maybe before we craft it, let's just see what the tr what the bone one would do for us instead. So durability goes up, attack goes up. Um, that looks kind of interesting, you know, having the bone on there. But I think I'm going to stick with the wood. So there we go, nice. Okay, then for the mattock, we don't need a binding. So we just need the axe head and the shovel head. So we just use bronze again here. Although, yeah, I guess that's fine. Would the bone one be better here, maybe? Yeah, we'll keep it like this. It doesn't have a lot of durability, but maybe that's fine. All right, so if we wanted to make the karma out of a metal, that would be a problem. Because we can't... Well, let's try something here. If we don't... I wonder even if we can hold it in our hands, you know? If not, then there's no point in making this. So let's just make this weird karma. If you don't know, the karma is kind of like a shear, so it's pretty nice. Okay, yeah, you can't craft it at this point. Okay, cool. Well, in that case, I guess the only thing that's left is the sword. We can't make yo-yos yet, right? I think I want to use a yo-yo later, once we can. But that's not available yet. So let's try to make this long sword. Now, I don't know too much about the weapon, so let's look at sword blade, I guess. What's good here? So cactus seems all right. Prismarine, 6.2 and 430 durability, and it says jacked. Bronze only has 3.5 damage, so that's not as good. It looks like the one, the highest one we can make is the Aquamarine, oh sorry, Prismarine. I do have some Prismarine, I don't know how that works though. Okay, we have five Prismarine, is that gonna be enough? Mm, that's not how you do it. Maybe it has to be a block or something? Ah, blocks work, awesome. So let's try this one. Does it say what jacked is here? Jagged. Every point durability lost increases damage. Ah, I see. The tool is unhindered by water and loves rainy evenings. I wonder if it repairs during rain or something. Okay, hand guard. What's good? They have durability mostly. And then some sort of effect. Prismarine here is, again, not too bad. Ooh, slimy has a lot. 350. Yeah, I think slimy it is. And then for the tool rod, I don't know what's good for weapons. So if we do the wood stuff, it repairs over time. Is that bad though? What about the bone? Oh, the bone increases the attack damage quite a bit. So how do I know that the bone, for example, increases it? It also has fractured, right? Your tool's damage is increased. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. So bone might be actually good for this. It looks kind of interesting. Should we do this? Okay. Now, how does the lunch work? Is it right click? Oh, oh, yeah, this time I did it. Is it hold? Oh, I think you have to... I think you have to hold and then jump and let go. Oh, that is cool. Huh, interesting. And what's the swing speed? Pretty good. All right, I guess we retire our old tools then. So this is what we'll be using. See our pickaxe? I just mined one block and it repaired itself. And then the mattock we can use as a shovel. Ho. Unfortunately, we can't make passes with that, I don't think. What if I shift right click? Nah. So making a pass, we still need a normal shovel. But I usually carry one around. And also, like, it should be good on wood. Yeah. Very nice. If only I could make a sword that just gets rid of spiders, like, instantly somehow. Just trying it out seems pretty good. All right, let's check on our crystal here that we grew. And also this one. This should have a size that's high enough. Whoa, that scared me. 
<laughs> Jesus. I don't know why this scared me so much, but it did. Hi. You jerk. There you go. I'll take your bones. So what is this at? 6.15. I'm gonna keep doing this and we'll see if this does what I think it does. Oh, there's a bunch of gold up here still in our Astro Sorcery area. So I know the episode is gonna be long, but I think since, you know, it's been a couple of days since we last played this fine. I do really want to check out this other structure here from Astro Sorcery, which is the Infuser. Because this one lets us make these big Celestial Collector Stars or something that provide more starlight and have some other effects as well. So we need to build another multi-block structure. It's seven by seven by seven. So I'm not quite sure where I want to put that one. It kind of has a roof, but it, it may have to be exposed to the, to, the surf, to the sky too. Otherwise I would have said maybe like somewhere in that hill or something. So we might just put this here and it, maybe if you put this on a corner, aligned to this. Although one thing I read is that these guys have to be uh, like 16 blocks apart to be fully, you know, at the max capacity or whatever, like the, the max they can provide. Otherwise, if they're too close, they, you know, reduce each other's potential. So maybe it would have been better to put these into the corner. That should be further away than like the way it's now. I don't know how they calculated. If they calculated like this way, you know, blocks this direction, this direction, or if it's like diagonal direction. Because if it's like blocks like this and this, then this is actually further apart, right? Then if I put them here and here, or would it be the same? I don't know, math. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to put these into the corner because then it would be like here, right? And I would start the new structure on this side. So do I want to leave that gap? Maybe I'll leave that gap just in case. So we would start the structure right here, right? So let me build this. Oh, this crystal is, ma is at max size now, so anytime I try to grow this now, I think it is a chance to split. No, didn't split this time. All right, I think this is the structure we need. Now we still need the infuser itself. So let's go make this. So it's not too difficult, you know, just a bu bunch of blocks. It does need another star metal though, so I made another one, and then we need aquamarine and yeah, just a couple of blocks. Okay, I'm actually out of marble, so I'm just going to steal two of these pillars. I'm going to grab it later, because I need to craft this before it's daytime. And hopefully we get the bucket back too. But there's the infuser. Not super difficult, I suppose. Except for the star metal. Oh, and this time there's like light beams from the side, huh? I don't think they've been there last time, have they? There we go, we got it. Awesome. And now let's put it over here. It does need a lapis block in the middle. I'm not 100% sure about these blocks. It's hard to see in the book. Hopefully this is right. And like I said, we need, uh, I need more marble. For now, I'm gonna steal those two. I'm just gonna move them back and forth whenever we need. There we go. And I think we need to fill these fields here with liquid starlight as well. All right, there we go. All filled in and yeah by the way starlight gives off light and you can step into it and you get uh, night vision for a few seconds too which is pretty cool but that should be the structure I don't know if there's supposed to be some fancy lights or something damn so fast but one thing we can do for example is turn aquamarine into glowing aquamarine so let's see if this even works oh and you have to right click the infuser again with the wand Ooh, so fancy Everything in this mod looks so fancy. There we go, so it does work. And from what I read, yes, there is a chance every time you do this, a starlight will be used up. It sounds like it's just a chance and I have to right click, right? I'm just gonna wait a few seconds here. Yeah, yeah, you have to right click, otherwise it doesn't start. Yeah, used up something again. Maybe it's always, I'm not sure. It sounded like though it's just a chance. Well, this crystal grew as well, so we can see what the properties of this one now. 90% purity, so it did increase. Oh, so I was looking at the recipe to make these celestial collector crystals. It has to be a attuned crystal, so just the normal ones don't work. We have to attune these first. Okay, to attune them, there's a whole other process that we don't have time for. <laughs> So, but hey, we got this thing and I need to find more marble. Oh, awesome. And just before I was about to end the episode, I just tried it one more time and we did get a split here. So we got two crystals now. Yeah, one has 65% still. That's like the original crystal. And then we got a smaller one here, which has 70% purity. So up on 
splitting, they have a chance to increase in purity, which is great. It does cause quite a bit of starlight, though, to keep growing them, you know, and, like, splitting them. So, bit difficult to increase the purity there. Maybe there's a better way later. I'm not sure. But as I'm acting for a pillar for the structure so it doesn't collapse, I'm going to have to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Like I said, I think next time we may go slay the Hydra and some other kind of adventure stuff in the Twilight Forest again. And maybe a bit of Astral Sorcery as well. I need to find way more marble. I'm kind of out. I'm going to have to go digging. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.